Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the PG Stats Chord uh, Top 100 that they made. This was for 2021 20, and 2020, like the latter part of it. Uh, yeah, I just want to go over it because there is not going to be results from 2022, so there's no uh, Summit 4, there's no Collision, there's no Glitch Infinite, and there's no... No, let's make big moves, sorry. But uh, everything else that has happened post-quarantine should be in here. And we're going to go over the results for that. I'm mainly going to focus on the top 20, but there's some people I wanted to mention in the 40 to 20 range, or 21 range. That's going to be uh, Mutase, I think Mutase, and, and Zomba, honestly, are both definitely on the up and up. Uh, they kind of had slower starts to the season, but as of late, they've been doing super, super well. I definitely think they could be top 20 contenders right now. Maybe more Zomba than Mutase, but uh, still both of them very, very good. Uh, Tilde is obviously doing well. Glutony is really, really low. And I when, I, when I saw this list, I super disagreed because it's like, there's no way Gluto is not top, like, 15. Uh, I still think he's better than Hero, and uh, I think it's Aka... It's Akikusu? That's so wrong, I'm sorry. The really, really good Japanese Hero player. I'm sorry I don't know his name. He's amazing. I just watched on one of his VODs. Uh, like, barely better than those guys, because those guys are insane. But, uh... Besides that, that was really the only biggest ones I had, like, kind of problem with was Gluto. But then I looked at the top 20, and I just was like, damn. Uh, so, number 20 is going to be Louis Money. Uh, I agree. I think this is a fine place for uh, Louis. He's very, very good. Uh, didn't do amazing in Smash World Tour, unfortunately. But that's besides that, I think that's his only bad performance, which is kind of insane. Uh, the only thing that I'd say he's lacking is I don't think he has a top 10 win. Uh, for like this list, uh, yeah, he doesn't have a top ten win. Uh, also, MVD was like sixty eight or something, which I think is an absolute scam. Uh, hold on, I'll find. I will find this. I guess I was. I guess we'll just go over some more things. We'll just go to this, their Twitter. All right, let's see here. Uh, MVD was forty four. Okay, MVD definitely should have been in top forty, in my opinion. But 44, I definitely not 68. He didn't get scammed that hard. But anyway, uh, Mars, number 19, Louis. I feel like he didn't talk about enough. He's amazing. He's so, so good. All the I put up, I can't wait for him to. I don't know if he's going to Genesis. I hope so. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to watch him play. Mars, obviously, is an amazing player. The fact that he's at 19th when he's had his biggest fall off is actually insane to me. I don't think he's been to anything in 2022. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he hasn't because he didn't go to Collision. Uh, but his placements are really good. Third, fourth, seventh. Uh, but he also, he has a top 10 win on Meister. I'm kind of spoiling it, but it's whatever. He has a top 10 win on Meister, which is impressive, but he doesn't have any other top 10 wins. Uh, he's been bodying Wadi, though. But uh, yeah, the third, fourth are super, super impressive, and then the seventh is also very, very good. So Mars is obviously amazing. Uh, the fact that he, 19th is a decline, I already said that, but that's just actually insane. It just proves how good he is. And uh, I think I think he's gonna come back. I hope he's gonna come back because he's just he's such an amazing player. You know, he won last Genesis. We'll see if he'll be able to take this one. Uh, Atelier, uh, number eighteen, definitely definitely deserving. He's such an amazing player, best Pokemon trainer uh, in Japan, arguably the world. I would say Quid right now has been destroying it, and Atelier has been a little more quiet as of recently. But he's still such an amazing player. Like he has wins on Zachary uh, T, who are both top ten. Uh, Akuki Suki, the hero player, Japanese hero player. I should not even attempt. Uh, Hiro, Japanese Bowser, Ken, Sonic, uh, Repo it plays Mega Man. Is Komei plays Shulk, and then Yoshidora plays. You know, you, I'll let you guess that one. But uh, yeah, amazing, amazing player. I tell you, you're so good. Very good performances as well. Third or second at Kagaburi three, and then fourth at Kagaburi five, and then I'm not sure which this one is. Uh, so I won't even try to guess, but I, I assume it's a major. But yeah, Atelier, amazing. I really want to see him travel because I know one of my favorite uh, tournaments ever was uh, Frostbite. Uh, Frostbite was a really, really good tournament. Uh, and that was because mainly Void's run. I loved That was like the first time I got to see Void when I played the game. But aside from that, it was Pissarian Man's run because uh, I've, I've never heard him before. All I know is that he played a character I liked and he was crazy. He played out of his mind. So uh, I hope we can see Atelier do something like that, because he definitely can. 17th is Isen. Uh, absolutely deserved, if not higher. He is absolutely insane. He has two Leo wins, and 
he has a light win, and he has a cola win, which is actually just nutty. And all of his other wins are very impressive as well. First, winning one of the only people, one of the only people to win majors aside from Leo. Uh, I think it's Leo Sparko, Tweak, and that's it. No, Cola, Cola won CEO, and Light won Smash Con. Okay, so of uh, 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 that's just NA as well, because obviously Zachary won a couple Kagabiris, and then I think T T won uh, Temple Hermes. But in NA. Those are like the five people he's had one of them, like double eliminating Leo. Absolutely, absolutely insane. This guy is so, so good. Uh, the only thing holding Ezem down is uh, sometimes he just won't have three tournaments. Like this, he's been to three tournaments. Wait. No, he has. He's been to four tournaments. And then one of them was Super Smash Con where he got 17th. And then main stage he got 13th, which isn't even a low. It's a really amazing placement. But when someone can get first, it's just a shame to see them get 13th. I know Ezem is. He's such, he's such a good player. I love him. He's so good. He's just so good. Uh, I think he's going to be doing very well. I believe he's going to Genesis, so I'm very excited for that. But uh, yeah, absolutely insane player. Ezem's just so good. Uh, Chag being 16, uh, I think that's fair. I think Chag is now cemented himself as a little bit more consistent than Louis Money. Granted, Luis has not been to any tournaments, I don't believe. He's been to anything. I think he was at Back for Blood, I believe it was, maybe? Which was a, like, probably probably be B or C tier around there. Uh, but no, like, Super Majors, like an A or an S tier. Uh, but Chag has been doing very well recently. Obviously, those roles also count, but in my mind, they do. Uh, but yeah, 5th, 7th, 5th, just amazing placements. And then his wins, his wins are very impressive. Uh, 2 in Gluttony, who, even though he's 22, I still, in my mind, like, top 5 mechanical players. I think he's just so good. Uh, two on Meister, two on Spargo as well, which is huge. Uh, one on Cola. Like, very, very impressive wins. And then, obviously, Wizzy, Goblin, Wadi, Skyjay, all very, very good players. But, yeah, Chag is just, he's phenomenal. He's such a good player. Uh, Cosmos is someone that I will definitely get boosted uh, into the 2022 year. He had a very strong start winning Glitch Infinite. Um, actually, no, Glitch Infinite wasn't PGR. Ooh. And then his, he didn't do amazing at collision. But regardless, Cosmos has had it. Even though he got like, I think he got like 17th or 33rd at collision, which isn't terrible. Uh, but winning Glitch Infinite was insane. And then right here, he's the 2nd, the 5th, the 7th. Actually insane. He has three wins on Zomba, who, I, like I said, a big up and comer. He's a win on Tweak. Uh, he's won on Spargo. Uh, win on Louie Money. He limited to Buzz and Shag. I think this is the first Tweak win we have seen. It is. Uh, obviously, people, like, it, below this, like, in the 20 to 40s, that be tweak. But up here, this is the first beat tweak, so that's that's an achievement on its own. Cosmos is so good. He's so amazing. Uh, maybe best Aegis in the world now that Spargo's kind of just playing Cloud. But I guess we'll see. But yeah, definitely deserve a very, very good player. Now, this is by far the most controversial player because from what I've seen, at least from, like, just... Twitter, which, you know, is the apex of information, is that Japan thinks Yoshidora is, like, top 10 correct, and America thinks Yoshidora is, like, like, 25. Like, around there. And like, obviously, I'm generalizing a very large mass of people, but everyone knows Yoshidora is correct, and I am in a... So, I would put Yoshidora at 17. Mm. Actually, do you know what? I would put Yoshidora at 16. Hold on, let's do let's do a quick little. Sorry, I always get off track with these. But you know what? That's that's what you expect when you come to this channel. Yoshidora, what did I? If I can't look them on P, on PG stats, I'm just gonna make things up. Do it. Was is that not right? Am I Steve? No, that's right. Okay, well, I guess he, I guess he must be under, I guess, a Japanese alias. Uh, but Yoshidora, super, 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 super good player. Look at these wins. These wins on T, uh, Sigma, Toon Link player. Wait, yeah, Toon Link. Uh, Shutone, uh, Leah, Ken, I am, Atelier, the hero player that's very, very good. Absolutely insane. This guy is so, so good. That best Yoshi business by far. Like, it's actually nutty what he's doing with this character. Uh, I really, I think if I had to choose someone that I wanted to travel to NA, 
that wasn't gluten-y, because <laughs> I have my bias, you guys know this, it would be Yoshidora, just because I want to see, I want to see it, I want to see how he would do, because I think he would do phenomenally, I think he's such a good player, he's so good, um, overhyped, I don't know, I, I, need, I need to watch more Yoshidora sets, I really need to, I need to do my homework on that, before I can give him a fair take, so I'm, I'm not gonna say too much more, like, if I would move him up or down, even though I already did, but that's definitely not set in stone. He could be even be higher. I, this is the only player here that I'm not super comfortable about. But yeah, Yoshidora, obviously amazing. Ken, so good. Ken is so good. Uh, he won the first Kagabiri. Oh, I did not know that. Uh, then he got third at Temple Hermes and third at an EPI. Uh, he has wins on Zachary, Shuton, Proto, uh, Kome, Tilde, Hiro, and the really good hero player. I feel so bad. I, I should have learned his name. But yeah, Ken is actually insane. Best Sonic by far. It's not close. Uh, I used to I used to be a Wrath believer. I think Wrath is amazing, and I think Sonic's is amazing. But Ken is definitely, as of late, pulled ahead. He's so so good. Um, he's just amazing. I know both the times he's come to America, he's done kind of lackluster because I think he either drowned in pools. No, he didn't drown in pools at um, Smash Bros. Tour, but he got like. Did he get ninth actually at Smash World Tour? Let's see. Can I think he got ninth or thirteenth? He didn't get seventh because that was Shoe Tone, and maybe he did get seventh. Hold on, he did get seventh. Oh my gosh, how's that not on here? Surely that is notable enough. But yeah. 7th at Smash Bros. Tour, so I lied, he has had amazing performances in America. 7th at Smash Bros. Tour, arguably the most stacked term of the year, is super impressive. Uh, very, very good player, he's just amazing. Uh, best Sonic in the world, hope he travels more. Uh, cause, you know what? I like I like seeing play, people playing in Sonic, I like adapt, it's very interesting to me. But yeah, amazing player, so good. Elegant, there he is. Probably the biggest... No, Yoshidora is definitely the biggest blow up. Yoshidora and Atelier are on this list. Just from like where they were on like PGR. But Elegant is the biggest and no, that's Cola. Elegant's really good. <laughs> Elegant is so good. And he's gotten so consistent and I do not understand. Uh, I believe he had a lackluster performance at Collision if he went. Which I don't know if he's been to anything after Summit. I'm pretty sure he went to Collision. But even if he didn't do amazing at Collision, he's still so good. Yeah, 17th at Collision, losing to Goblin to Stocktaker. Stocktaker had a nutty run, though. You can't even blame him for that. That was... Stocktaker was on something else, you know? And then Goblin is obviously amazing. But yeah, so good, Elegant. Third at Main Stage, fourth at Low Tide, fourth at Rip Tide. And he has such good accolades as well. He has wins on Tweak, Lights, Cosmos, like Chag. Very, very impressive players. And then Ling Ling, Jake, Goblin, Anathema. So, so impressive. He's so good. Only one doing a Luigi like this, even close. Like, maybe next is either, like, Kirash or Waka, maybe? Uh, Waka plays Luigi, I'm pretty sure. I could be smoking reefer. But, he's, he's amazing. He's he's amazing. I love that he's doing well. He's one of my favorite players to watch. And I know he's going to keep getting better. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I believe he's going to Genesis. That makes sense. Elegant in Genesis just feels right to me. I don't know. Maybe it's because he got that light up set that one time and hyped me up. But, uh, yeah. Elegant's amazing. I think that's a perfect place for him as well. Cola, barely not getting top 10. Number 11, honorable mention to top 10. And honestly, I think it's a perfect spot for him. I think Cola's amazing. Cola got first at CEO, insane. Seventh at Summit 3, insane. Third at Glitch, insane. Only losing to Esam Leo. Uh, he has wins on Chag, DeBuzz, Esam, Elegant, Meister, Marsh, Proto, Shuton. Look at this is insane. These are such impressive wins. He's so good. He's so good. It's and he, and he also has two Gluto wins that they just didn't put on here because they, they hate him. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh Cola's Cola's absolutely phenomenal. Uh I don't think he's been to anything after Did he go to Infinite? I don't believe Cola went to Infinite. But I don't think he went to Collision. Oh he did go to Infinite. Oh, that's right. Jake beat him for 7th. Yeah, Cola got 7th at uh, Infinite and then 2nd at uh, Let's Make Big Moves. And then 7th at Collision as well. How do I forget? How do I forget these things? 
God, I'm so foolish. But yeah, like Cola has had such such good placements. He's so good. He's so good. Uh, Cola's one of the best players in the world. Biggest glow up in Smash, I think, just in total. Uh, over quarantine, little voice crack there. Because Spargo, you could argue it's Spargo, but Spargo was kind of cracked before, and then Cola had like one like amazing tournament. Or no, he had Frostbite, and then he had Dreamhack. But then he was then he the one CEO like he did. So like he's 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 absolutely insane. Cola is so so good. Uh, number ten, shoot tone. He's insane. He's he's the best Olimar. No, he's not. He's the best Japanese Olimar. <laughs> Which I don't know if he's in high contention because I don't know who else plays him. But uh, he's such good wins. He's wins on T Proto, uh, Mars Ken four times, farming Ken, Gluto Atelier, and a really good hero player. Um, I don't know why they have the third at the Smash World Tour Japanese qualifier valued so heavily when he got like seventh at the actual uh, Smash World Tour. Oh no, he got ninth at the actual Smash World Tour. Ooh, he got seventh. But yeah, like very, just he's so good. He, this guy's amazing. He was top five in first PGR and then he was like, I don't know, 13 or something like that. Something around there in the second one. Uh, he's an amazing player. Look, he's picking up Aegis a lot, which I really like. I really like when people have their have their tried and true specialist character because Olimar's kind of a specialist character. You definitely just can't pick him up, and then they have that really solid like I have. If I'm better than you, I will win. Characters like a Pyramithra. So I really like what he's doing. Uh, I think Shuton is only going to get better. Uh, I hope he comes to America. I hope he comes for Genesis because I don't know if he did for Genesis Six, which was admittedly two years ago. Oh, uh, maybe in three now. But, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Light. Underrated. Hello? This guy's not top, like, seven, six? This is insane to me. But Light. Light's amazing. Um, First at SmashCon. Fifth at Glitch. Uh, Konami Code. And then seventh at Main Stage. I think the only reason that Light is not higher than he is right now is because he does he does have some lows. Which are like 17th, 13th. Like they're not that low, but they they are lows. You have to admit when you were even getting first fight, first and fifth, a uh, 17th is is an outlier. Uh, Light absolutely insane. He has wins on Zomba, Spargo twice, Mars twice, Meister, MVD, Louis Money, Cola, Cosmos. Like this guy is so good. He's so good, and he's only getting better. Uh, I think if you take in the 2022 results as well, you definitely put him higher. Uh, even though he does have that 17th, that infinite. He also has that second at Smash uh, Smash Summit 4, and he also has that fifth at uh, Collision. Light's absolutely insane. In my opinion, he's the number two NA player, uh, like not including Mexico, so I guess number two American player. Uh, so, so good. He's amazing. Number eight is the Buzz, the Buzz the Goat. This guy's insane. He is so consistent. He is Mr. Consistency. And even though he was a little, he was a little shaky, start post quarantine, he had, a, he had a couple tournaments where he's like, "Oh, the bus got 13. This, he's washed." But now he has he's found that consistency. Set. Oh wow, he has found that consistency again, and he is actually just insane. I believe he got seven that collision if he went. No, he didn't get seven that collision. Did he even go to collision? He didn't go to Glision. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Uh, yeah, 5th and Infinite. So good, even though I know those aren't in there. But Debuzz, very, very, very good player. 2nd at a Low Tide. 5th at Smash World Tour. 7th at Main Stage. And then he has wins on Chegg, Esam, Elegant, Ken, Meister. He has the Leo win. He has Proto. He has Tweak. Like, he is so good, man. It's actually insane. Uh, Debuzz, he's, he's the best all around the world. And he also has the he also has the Rosa, which is weird that you have a specialist character into an even more specialist character. And then they have Minion on here, but I'm pretty sure he's done with that character. But uh, yeah, the Buzz, he's amazing. He's so good. Meister, number 7th. I agree, number 7th. <laughs> Meister's really, really good. Top 3 Mexico, free. Uh, he's got wins on Che, Cosmos, Gluttony, Ken, Cola, Light, Mars, and Spargo. And I think that might be be why he's not higher i because he doesn't have a top five one even though light is top five like he's not on this list oh wait no he does he have two sparkle wins i am not even paying attention oh uh, yeah meister is actually insane uh i don't know if he had any major lows none that i can think of 
Well, it's, if only there was a website that would tell me players' placements over tournaments. Oh, I think his lowest low is like a ninth or something crazy. Come on, earn it. Yeah, Meister is an absolutely phenomenal player. Only when doing it with Game & Watch, realistically. Like, you got some good Game & Watch players. Like, Monty comes to mind for me. But it's like, it's nothing close to what Meister's doing. Alright, uh, so, Glitcher's not the first one. Let's see, the first one was Summit. You got ninth, and then you got 5th, that Riptide. 4th, 5th, 3rd, 13th. Uh, and then 13th at Smash World Tour. So, yeah. Maybe, you know, Meister low key kind of missed your consistency for Mexico, at least. Even though Leo and Spargo are definitely those two. But Meister is lowest lows is like a 13th, actually insane. And then he has that third at Smash Con, the fourth at Glitch, Konami Code. Absolutely insane. This guy's so, so good. Uh, I think he's picking up Sora as well. I know there is a uh, Mexican Invitational going on this weekend. I'll make a video on that on Sunday. Um, but maybe we'll see the Sora there. Maybe he'll win it all with Sora. Who knows? Who knows? Anything could happen. But yeah, Meister, amazing player. Um, let's talk about this first, then we'll talk about this and how I disagree. Uh, six is Zachary. He's so good. Zachary is amazing. He's a Kagaburi win. Uh, not Kagaburi five. He won that with Sora. Keep that in mind. Uh, he won Kagaburi four, or not? He didn't win. He got second, and then he got fifth at Summit. And he has wins on Atelier, Cosmos, The Buzz, Hero, or Hero, Ken, Proto Bonham, Shutone, and T. Uh, so the only American win that he has that is super notable are The Buzz and Cosmos, which are still like obviously super notable wins. Um, but yeah. This guy's amazing. I think he's a win on Riddles as well. Or no, Void. I think Void was like 60.5 because he kind of only went to two tournaments. Uh, but damn, did he do well. Uh, Zachary, phenomenal player. Uh, second in Japan. I think I think Proto, he stole that crown back. Zachary had it for a little because Proto had it at the start. Then I think Zachary got it back. But now Proto, he's got it back again. IMO. Uh, Zachary is absolutely insane. I think he plays... Joker. It does say Sora here, but I think that's wrong. And then also, Zachary won another Kagaribi, but that might have been in 2022. Let's see, when was this? This was in 2021. Oh no, this was the Sora one. Oh yeah, this was in 2022. So this this did not count. Oh, that's a absurd amount. That's what I was going to say. Um, that, that did not count, but that's his last tournament, so he hasn't been to a tournament in, what, about three months now. Uh, is he going to Genesis? <gasps> Zachary Genesis again? That would be super hype. I hope he is. But yeah, Zachary is absolutely insane. Uh, this guy is so, so good. He can literally use any character, which I find so interesting. And yeah, he's amazing. Uh, up next is T. T over Zachary? Kinda crazy, but... But, I will say this, I did not pay attention to, like, the first three Kagaburis, and he did win Kagaburi 3. So that is probably a very, very big influence. But as of late, which I know this list hasn't included the last three months, blah, 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 I think it's accurate. But yeah, T1 Hermes Edition, he got fourth at main stage, actually insane run. He has beaten Tweak, Proto, Cola, Ken, Gluto, The Buzz, Atelier... Uh, really good hero player, Japanese. This guy is so good. T is so, so good. And I don't think he's been to anything since Summit, where he did get 13th, unfortunately. Uh, he had really tough bracket. He got eliminated by Layers in, or Leo and Gauntlet. And they, I think he was in Spargo's pool. And then he lost to Goblin. Yeah, he lost to Goblin round one, which just, which just sucks. That's just so unfortunate. That's so unfortunate, man. That's so unlucky. But, uh, yeah. T is a phenomenal player. So, so good. Where I would put him, probably... I might put him at 9th. I'll read, I'll read just the top 10 after. Because I agree that everyone that's in the top 10 deserves to be in the top 10, just their positions. Uh, but yeah, T, amazing player. Only one really doing it with Pac-Man like he is. And then he also has a nasty Kazuya. I hope he uses that more because it is very, very good. Uh, number four is Tweak. It's fun. Uh, Tweak, amazing. Won Ultimate Summit. Won the first kind of tournament back, at least for NA. And then look at his wins, man. 2 on Leo. 2 on Spargo. 1 on Meister. 1 on Ken. 2 on Elegant. 2 on DeBuzz. 2 on Cosmos. 2 on Chag. 
Like he is so so good, and then he has he is first at first at summit, second at Riptide, third at Port. It's like who does Tweak not have a win on here? Like Tweak has a win on literally every single player, which is just kind of nutty. Like it's he's so he's so good, and he as of late he's getting better. Like what did he get fifth at Summit? Didn't go to Glitch. Got second at Collision. It's 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 just insane. Tweak is. So good. Best American player. Uh, Light is close, but I, I definitely think it's Tweak. He is phenomenal. The way he plays is actually masterful. He just has such a... He is, he's the beautiful minds of this game, and it's just... I'm just so impressed whenever I watch him play. He's amazing. Number three, Protobana. Uh, number one, Japan. Guy is actually nuts. Uh, he won Kagabuti 4. He got wins. Oh my gosh, look at his wins. He's been destroying Japan. He has two on Zachary, two on Yoshidora, one on Wrath. Three on T, one on Sonics, four on Shutone, one on MVD, one on Mudes, three on Ken, and then three on Atelier, or two on Atelier, rather. And then you look at it. He's won. He won Kagaburi. He won this really big one. He won EPI. I'm going to look that one up, actually, because I feel like I've seen that logo before. And I would like to familiar myself with the other scenes as much as I possibly could. All right. Oh yeah, how do you? Oh yes, he was the one that got seventh at Smash World Tour. I knew it was a Japanese player because I knew Zamba. I'll uh, beat them. <laughs> Did he lose Zamba? Oh, he lost to Busby. Zamba was to beat uh, Ken then. Cause I believe Ken's the other one. Like that, this Kagiri, but that didn't count for this third at Summit. Uh, actually, actually, just nutty. Uh, this is Eastern Powerhouse Invitational, and this. Okay, this is. Oh, I think it's Masuma. Uh, anyway, it's a stack tournament. I think there's one going on as we speak. Uh, but he has wins on Atelier, Hero, I don't know that name. Hikaru, very good player. Oh, he lost to Hero as well. Damn, he beat him in the run back. Get it rolled. <laughs> Actually rolled. <laughs> but yeah, uh, fifth year losing only to Shuton and Kome. Uh, Proto is insane. He's so good. He... God, he's so good. Uh, he has a Leo win now. Like, I, I don't have a ton to say about him because I have n he has no downside. I think third is mm, maybe maybe switch him into week. I don't know. That could be recency bias though. But yeah, Proto Proto's amazing. Number two is Spargo, number one is Leo. Let's talk about these because these are uncontested. Uh Spargo is insane. Like this guy is so so good. He ha he's you know he's on a winning streak right now. He's got like three wins under his belt. The G4 one kinda is just a little one but it's still a win. But two majors under his belt uh, he has two Elegant wins, two Ken wins, four Meister wins, a, a Cola win, a Leo win, a T win, two Tweak wins, and a Zachary win. And look at that, second, second, second. He is so good. And the fact that he is using mainly Cloud now, I think is going to give him a shot at best player in the world. Because I don't, he doesn't have it right now. He is getting close with Cloud. And it is scary, because he's amazing. He's so good. He's smart. Oh, so good. And he's like... I don't know, si yes, that's not right. He's like 16 or 15 or something, which is like, I'm older than that, and I'm not doing that, so what's going on? <laughs> he must be cheating. He has to be cheating. <laughs> There's no way. Spargo's amazing. Uh, and then number one, obviously, not even a question, number one to go, Leo. Guy's insane. He has six Spargo wins, a Zachary win, two Tweak wins, a T win, four Meister wins, four Color wins, an Elegant win, four DeBuzz wins. Like, he is farming people i think the only person that leo has a negative record against is isam that they played more than once because i think karama karama has a positive record over him but they've only played once uh, i think it's matchups all right let's see here uh he's a losing win rate against sonics is that counting online it was. Okay. Uh, Mars is pretty close to him. And that looking like it's it. He's, so he's losing against Esam. He's even with Light now. Uh, because of the uh, summit win that Light got on him. And yeah, that's it. So Esam is the only player who has a winning record on Leo. Which is kind of just like not fair. 
uh, he shouldn't be allowed to do that personally. I don't think that's like I don't know. That just he seems like it's it's just not even close, man. He's so good. He's so good. He's just amazing. Uh, he's also at the Mexican Invitational. Uh, Sparta's also there. Shag's also there. Meister, I think I already mentioned. I think that's why I brought it up. Uh, and then who else is there? Goblin, uh, Gutani. Uh, uh, it's a very good invitational. I hope you guys watch it. But anyway, kind of off point. Leo, best player in the world. He's the GOAT. It's not close. It is close. Spargo is close now. Tweak's getting there. Light's getting there. Proto's getting there. Zachary's getting there. Uh, but yeah. Amazing player. He's been the best since like day one. And he'll continue being the best for at least a little bit. But I'm going to reorder the top 10 right now. So I think number one, Leo. Number two, Spargo. Number three. Um, it's either Tweak or Proto. And just looking at the wins. I feel like Tweak's wins are more impressive. Because even though as of late... Uh... Sorry. Proto, there it is. Proto does have a Leo win. He still doesn't have a Spargo win, and Tweak has two. Uh, Leo has, like, he has three Leo wins now. Yeah, man, I don't know. I think it's really, I think it, this is the hardest one, because they are, like, they're just doing really well in their respective uh, regions. And it's tough to compare, because all of Proto's wins, except a couple, are from Japan, and all of Tweak's wins, except, like, a couple, are from America. So it's really tough. Um, I want to put Tweak at third because he got uh, second at Collision, and I love recency buys. But yeah, both these players are amazing. You can switch either one, and I would not give a hoot. Uh, Zachary, I think, is number five. I think T is amazing. Uh, I just think Zachary is a little better. Number six, I would put Light. I think he is actually insane. I think Light has potential to be best player in the world. I... Maybe I maybe I'm just I just like him because he's hype, but I think he's good because of that. I just think he's so good. He's gotten so much better out of quarantine. I don't understand it. If he, I think him and Esam are the biggest sufferers of this. If they find a way so those thirteenth, those seventeenths don't happen, they are like top ten, top five players, top ten Esam's case, top five Light's case, easily. It's they're so good. They're just so good. So if they if they become unups unupsettable, it's over. It's just over. Uh, T I would put right here as seventh, and then everyone else I would just move a slot up. So I'd move Meister up to eighth. I'd move DeBuzz up to ninth, and then I would keep Shuton right where he is because he's looking so pretty there. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. If you agree, disagree. Uh, at the end of the day, not an official tier list, just something made by the PG Stats Corner. I thought it was cool because it is cool. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you want me to cover any more of these players specifically, I'd be super down to do that. Maybe analysis video on them, watch one of their sets. Uh, I'd be down for pretty much anything Smash related. So yeah, let me know. Be sure to sub and all of that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.